get out of their space. When they make a change, a mental change, a lot of times it's mental and physical, get out of there, walk them. What we would like to do is set that rope up in such a way that at such a length that if he took his nose too far to the left, it'd almost be like he think he ran into his own pressure. You know, if I have to, if I'm late and I have to bump him, now sometimes it happens, but if I have to be bumping him back to center him, usually that means rope was too long. Now this is looking better. I'm almost ready, before we circle here, I'm almost ready to see, can I practice backing away and reapproaching? Yeah. He's got, so his life, and you know this, his life is up higher than it, he looks, if that, if that makes sense, because even like there when I bumped him, he snorted. That's a lot of, pre- I put that for me, for him, that was getting firm. And for me, that was getting firm. But you could hear him, he snorted, you know. So he has more energy in there, at least today. Yeah. And even the blinking, he does blink, but his, his head's pretty elevated. Now notice I'm getting further back. I'm going to reapproach. He, he's a little nervous about me. But it's, but it's getting there. You know what? We first have to become significant to our horse first anyway. So if he's a little nervous at first, well, we'll take care of that over time, right? But, it, but at least he's keying in on me. Nope, don't come with me. I know. Oh, partner. There, there's it. I'm going to walk away. Yeah, w- that's why I walked away. You saw that. Yep. Get out of their space. When they make a change, a mental change, a lot of times it's mental and physical, get out of there, walk them. This is really nice right now. That seems to be a little clearer now. So here we are showing them from a distance what we want. This is a pretty important lesson. If, I'm, if I have to lead a horse down, have you ever had to take a horse down a, a wet, muddy hill, a steep hill? Man, if you have to lead close to their head, that's dangerous. If I could get 20 feet in front of my horse and lead him down that hill, you know, now I'm 12 feet, but you get the idea. It's a lot safer, right? Life up. Well, that's easy. Life up is easy for him. Life. Now, he makes the motion of halt, but what we need him to do is bring the life down. So he, he's doing the physical body part. He's doing the halt, but he's not letting down as soon, uh, settling as soon as we want him to. So that's what, that would be with this horse, I would say that's, that's our focus, is how do we get him to settle and let down sooner? Because getting him up's easy. Then there's other horses, they're completely the opposite. They can settle super easy, but they can't, you, people can't get them life up. Yep. So even now, you notice he's physically stopped, but mentally he's still a little, yeah. Now, but again, it could be the day. It could just be he's not used to me. But you get the idea. He's understanding now when I turn my headlight what that means and then when I turn towards him what that means. Yeah. So that's a little better. Oh yeah, circling. Let's do a little bit more groundwork. We can, we can get on and ride too today if you get bored. Oh, this is feeling better to me. As far as the distance. See, if they're close to us, it's like they, they're not going to truly, well, they have a hard time settling sometimes because when we're close to them, they think we're about to ask them for something. You know what I mean? So we have to get to where a horse could, could move away, give us space, and like Deanne, your horse did that too. Then all of a sudden, you notice you give them space, that's when they put their head down. It's not when we're right up to them usually because we're in their way. So for your horse, it's, if he can learn, space is okay. Jack's there for me. The human's still there. At, even though further away, the human's still there, you're going to find he lets down and settles much, much sooner. All right. Now circling, I'm going to do this first, sort of the sim- more simple version, but I want you to think about the order of operation we talk about. Number one, I'm going to prepare to position, me and the horse. So I'm going to prepare to position, I'm going to visualize what I want to have happen. Number two, I'm going to tip the focus, and then I'm going to keep tipping his focus. And number three, if all goes well, we release the feet. And we just let the feet go. This for him is going to be easier 
an easier thing, I think. When I'm done with the circle, this would be the same for round penning or working on a line. When I'm happy and content with the circle, I leave it, I get out of the middle. I want, I want you to do that. So after they circle you and you're happy, watch this, I get out of the center. I call that lining out. And then we cross the hind legs and then guess what? We go back to, go back to that again. Ready? I'm gonna prepare to position. I'm gonna tip the focus. He got, I got him a little confused first. See that he was going, he didn't know if it was right or left at first, but I redirected him. Notice how I can pull the rope through my right hand. I can take my left hand this is a big deal. I can pull the rope through my right hand. Notice how I'm not giving him super slack and I'm not giving him float yet. I'm not super tight, but see, I can reinforce what I'm asking, especially on this right side. I want freer movement. I want him to step up a bit. And when he does, I'll get out of the middle. We'll get there. A little more. A little more. You can, do, you can do it, buddy. There. I'm leaving. Right there's a change. Getting out. I needed him to step up. Think forward. Prepare to position. Tip the focus. Whoop. Get the life up more. Life up more. And I might stand tall and even lift my right hand up more to get his life up. This side's easier. He's more sure on this left side. To me, as far as with, with me, you know, with me. Ready? Yeah. I leave the middle. When I want to be done with the circle, I get out of the middle and I bring them with. That's looking great. Two times in a row, look and chew. Yeah. I'm, I'm constantly exercising life up, life down. You're going to get so sick of me saying it, you're gonna, you're, it's going to drive you nuts. But someone's got to teach the life system more. And, and we have to understand that I've seen big clinics where the horses were kept super mellow the whole clinic. And then all of a sudden, one gets bucking. Right? You know about that. And then they all go bucking. And guess what? The most excited those horses got was when the riders were on their back. I don't want to do that. The most excited I hope that we get this horse, your horse, would be on the ground before you get on. Because then we know, hey, he hit a 70 his emotions hit a 70. That means if we ride, it's not uncharted territory. If I hit a 70, I already hit a 70 on the ground, right? If you're always working a horse super mellow, what happens when life happens? Because that's, there's, I've gone trail riding with people. <laughs> you know what happens on some of those. Prepare to position, tip the attention, bring the life up, the feet just sort of come, ready? When he steps up, I'll trade horse, I'll, I'll trade after this and, He's a little snorty, isn't he? You can hear him. I'm trying to be real smooth. Notice, though, how I can pull the lead rope through my right hand. My leading hand is my right hand. My left hand is my driving hand, right? But see how I pull the rope through my hand. I lied to you. I'm going to do one more. Watch this. So I, I, I lift, I lead, I might even step in the direction I want the horse to go. And then my driving hand, I know I'm exaggerating this, but my driving hand, see I can, I can widen my wingspan, I can widen my arms out, and I can pull the rope through my left hand. So now watch this. I can feed him the rope too. If I want to make the circle bigger, watch my right hand and my left hand. Here we go. We'll make it. We'll make it. Ready? And then if I want to make the circle bigger, I'll push the rope through my left hand. See? Make the circle smaller. Pull the rope through my left hand. But I'm going to also walk away. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Try not to be greedy. One more time, and then I'll, I promise I'll trade. We'll trade horses again. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing this horse... Well, I wouldn't mind working some flags either. And we get to, so that's an option that we could do. But I want to get his life up a little bit more, but not so much that I over, overwhelm him. Ready? How I might bring his life up more, it might be a little more movement. A little more movement. Not a lot more. 
Like I'm cl- right here. That's more life than I've had so far. See the tail kind of came up? Ready? I'm going to bring that life up and down a few times, and I'm going to see if I can sort of exercise his emotions to where he's smoother and he can handle the life coming up. That was better. Yeah. You're only as good as you are with your horse as a team when you're under pressure. What if you were a mounted police? Right? Um, Mounted police, they understand pressure. Got to train a horse with a little bit of, I mean, and I'm not saying all the time. Not all the time. More life. I'm quitting there. Leave the circle. We're getting smoother, at least, right? At least right, uh, right now we are. And then this will go aside. A little more life. I don't let energy scare me because I get my horses moving smooth. And so energy is not a scary thing for me. It's only a scary thing for me if they get stuck. A little more. Now my rope's getting short. That's more life. Look at his tail. See that? He's like, the wind's in my tail. There, I'll take that. Now, can you bring your life down? You don't have to knee. I do it, because I'm kind of lazy sometimes anyway. It gives me a break. That was interesting. He came down. He's, he's, can you see, though, how he goes up emotionally faster than he comes down? You need a balance there. It'll be, it'll be, and horses that have, sometimes you'll see that the other way around. Good boy. That was looking pretty good, though. You'll sometimes see that the other way around, that horses, they sometimes have a really hard time getting their life up in the first place. And they're, they're, they're sluggish. They're, they're pokey. Um, 